Cash versus accrual basis in accounting. Let's start with illustrating the cash basis. Assume that the business sold goods to a customer for $1,000. The customer paid in cash. In cash basis accounting, this is recognized as revenue, since cash is collected. On the other hand, assume that the business delivered the goods to the customer, but the customer didn't pay. The customer promised to pay later, but the company cannot recognize that as revenue according to the cash basis, since cash is not received yet. The same thing applies with expenses. Assume that a business receives a utility bill for $500. The business pays the bill. According to the cash basis, this is regarded as an expense, because cash is paid for utilities. However, if the business received the bill but didn't pay it, this is not considered as an expense based on the cash basis accounting, since cash is not paid. To summarize, if revenues are collected in cash, they are recognized and recorded. Otherwise, they are not recognized as revenue, even if the services are provided or the goods are delivered. Expenses are recognized and recorded as expenses only if they are paid. Otherwise, they are not recognized as an expense, even if the bill is received. Let's now illustrate the accrual basis. Assume that the business sold goods to a customer for $1,000. The customer paid in cash. That is recognized as revenue, not because the cash is received, but because the goods are delivered. So if the goods are delivered, but the customer didn't pay, it is still recognized as revenue, because the goods are delivered. As per accrual basis, collection of cash does not affect revenues recognition. The same thing applies for expenses. Assume that the business received the utility bill and paid it. Per accrual basis, this is recorded as an expense, not because the cash is paid, but because the utilities are consumed to generate revenue during the period. So now assume that the business received the utility bill, but it is not paid yet. This is still regarded as an expense as per accrual basis accounting. This is because an expense is recognized when it is consumed, whether or not the cash payment is done. To summarize, in an accrual basis, revenues are recognized and recorded when services are rendered or goods are delivered, whether cash is collected or not. Expenses are also recognized and recorded when the assets are consumed or services are used to generate revenue, irrespective of whether cash is paid or not. Why is accrual basis better in measuring performance? Let's assume that a CPA provided a consulting service for a client in period 1 for $10,000. The CPA sent a bill to the client after providing the services. However, the client paid the amount in period 2. According to the cash basis accounting, periods 1 revenue is zero since no cash is collected. Meanwhile, revenue is recognized in period 2 when the cash is collected. Let's assume that the accountant paid the rent for period 1, but failed to pay it in period 2. According to cash basis, expenses are recognized when paid. So, period 1's expenses is $500. Period 2, no expenses are recognized since no payment is made for rent. To summarize, the results of the two periods according to the cash basis, period 1's revenue is 0, and its expenses are 500, so the result is a loss of $500 even though all the work is done in this period. In period 2, revenue is $10,000 since cash is collected and expenses are zero since cash is not paid for the rent. So the net income for period 2 is $10,000 although no effort was done in this period. Now let's assume that the same transactions happened but used the accrual basis. So the CPA did the work in period 1 and sent the bill to the client. This is regarded as revenue in period 1. When the client pays in period 2, this is not regarded as revenue for that period. It is just collections for the amounts due. When the CPA received the rent bill, he paid it in period 1. This is regarded as an expense whether it is paid or not, since the rent service is consumed to generate revenue. The rent for period 2 is also recognized as an expense even though it is not paid, 
since the string service is still used in period 2. Now let's summarize the results of each period. In period 1, revenue is $10,000 and rent expense is $500, so the net income is $9,500. This reflects the performance which the CPA has done in this period. In period 2, no revenue is recognized, while rent expense is $500, which leads to a loss of $500. This also reflects the performance, as the CPA didn't do any services in period 2. If we compare that with the results of the cash basis, you will notice that it does not reflect the performance. As you'll notice, when services are provided in the first period, it showed loss, while in the second period, when no services are provided, it showed a 10,000 net income, which does not reflect the performance.